Hello and welcome to Sample of the Week. This week we're very fortunate, a new Labs instrument came out quite literally the other day. So that is what we're going to be covering. It is the Autograph Grand by Spitfire Audio. If you've not heard of Labs, I don't know where you've been. They're a huge list of free virtual instruments, which I would highly recommend downloading. They're great, they're fun, they're mostly bread and butter, especially the strings. Love the strings, but we're covering the Autograph Piano today. Uh, it's quite simple actually, and it's quite a famous piano as well. It's housed in the Woodshed Recording Studio in Malibu, and it's been used by people like Lady Gaga, Paul Simon, Ariana Grande. So quite a famous, I guess, piano. And the interface, if we just jump straight in, is very simple. There's not much to it. There's only one uh, I guess preset you could say because some of these you can see gla glass piano there have four well five six I guess six there but this one is simply just the grand and all we have to control is the tightness and reverb of course we have expression and dynamic control as well and do not forget you can actually change the reverb up here as well there's a couple the spring stretched evolution is the automatic one on plate and toasty so we'll go through those reverbs as well as just simply this piano to see how it sounds. I've not actually touched it yet, so I'll be very intrigued to see how it sounds. So without further ado, let's just jump in and have a play. That's actually quite gorgeous, although it is not velocity sensitive in the slightest. This is the only problem I've really found recently with Spitfire Audio, and I know this is 100% free, but I wish there was a button. I don't think it'd be that hard that you could just flick between velocity sensitivity and use of the mod well there's a lot of plugins that do it i don't think it'd be that hard um but then because you just it's so flat and if you're a keyboard or piano player you want to use both hands you don't want one hand over there on the mod wheel and one hand playing over here so what you kind of have to do is record what you want in and then go in and add a bit of mod wheel which it's free and why am I complaining? Um, but let's just, uh, I don't know, try something out. So I guess you could do something like that. So you're getting a bit of expression and you're having to jump a little bit and there was a wrong note or two I played, but I'm actually extremely impressed with this piano. It's a, a really well-rounded and from the simplicity of it, as it's just one plug in, there's not much to it. It can go a long way. And just listening to how whole it is and the stereo field is gorgeous there as well. It's a really, nice bread and butter piano that can work on just about everything. Tightness, let's just go from one extreme to another.
it just cuts into the sample uh that's at least what tightness is but i i've never really noticed much difference when i use tightness i don't know if you have let me know reverb um really nice plain sound actually uh You know, not too close, not too far. You're not getting any release or any run robins or dynamic layer. Well, I guess you are here. I guess, yeah, there is some dynamic layers there, or at least it sounds like there is. That's all that matters, really. Um, no round robins, but hey, can we really complain? Uh, reverb. Uh, let's just have a little listen. So the standard one is Evolutions. Um, what else? I love a good spring reverb. I absolutely love a good spring. Let's see how this one sounds. Let's cook it a little bit more. Um, what else? Actually, it's, it's it's not too much. Sometimes when you put it on the higher end, it's like, what's the, even the point in having that? Because it's not nice. What's oh, toasty? I've not actually tried this one. Okay. the reverb on max i'm not really hearing much difference oh i am with that one dreamy This is such a chordy piano. <laughs> when I say that, I mean like it's just so easy to play chords with. Like you just want to keep playing. And these reverbs are gorgeous. And there you have it. I think we've gone through just about all the reverbs there. Really like stretched actually, and spring, can't help myself. Toasty, don't know why it's called Toasty, but hey, this is it. The Autograph Grand, it's by Spitfire Audio. It's one of their labs instrument, a really nice bread and butter piano. Uh, they do a number of pianos. They do the soft piano, they've done this one. And well, I've, I've clicked piano on labs uh, in here. Let's just show you. And so you can see there is a number of different ones here. But what I actually really like about this one is it's just the one patch. It's nothing complicated. It's not a pad. It's just plain and simple. The same with the soft piano. You've got a soft piano, you've got a grand piano. Um, between the two, they'll cover just about everything. Um, nice and bread and butter. Uh, and so there you have it. What more can I say? I think this is really going to be in competition with a lot of other free pianos out there and I definitely recommend it myself. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.